let me discuss the another group of antihypertensives that is sympathoplegics that is sympathoplegics now prior to this particular sympathoplegics we have discussed about diuretics now how was that particular diuretics was used as an antihypertensives diuretics were reducing the total blood volume they were not only reducing the total blood volume, they were also causing natriuresis. Natriuresis will reduce the stiffness of the blood vessel and thereby the total peripheral resistance reduces and thereby they are used as antihypertensives. Whereas, you take this particular sympathoplegics. So, if you take this particular sympathoplegics, this group of drugs, they are aimed at decreasing the activity of the sympathetic nervous system. So, sympathoplegics that means what does they do they will reduce the activity of the sympathetic nervous system they will reduce the activity of sympathetic nervous system earlier in the introduction i have said you that sympathetic nervous system it plays a major role in the hypertension of an individual or in the maintenance of the blood pressure of an individual if the sympathetic nervous system activity if it is increased the blood pressure of the individual increases. So, with the help of this particular sympathoplegics, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to reduce the activity of the sympathetic nervous system and thereby the alpha 1 receptors and thereby beta 1 receptors which are present on the heart, they are, they do not get activated. Now, now this particular sympathoplegics, they may be or the mechanism of sympathoplegics they may be accomplished with the use of the following drugs or in the following manner number one what we can do is we can decrease the central sympathetic outflow all right we can decrease the central sympathetic outflow because if we take the central sympathetic outflow it comes from the medulla oblongata that is we have a center called vasomotor center once that particular vasomotor center is being activated then there will be increase in the sympathetic outflow so by using a certain group of drugs we can decrease that central sympathetic outflow and thereby we can achieve this sympathoplegia next if we take the second group of drugs which will cause this particular sympathoplegia is the drugs that block the autonomic ganglia the drugs that block the autonomic ganglia now so if you take the drugs that will block the autonomic ganglia now what is the story of this particular autonomic ganglia now i have said you that sympathetic nervous system the neurotransmitters are epinephrine and as well as norepinephrine so this particular epinephrine and norepinephrine will be released from the sympathetic nervous system and they act on the alpha and as well as beta receptors or in other way round if you take the another name of the sympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system this is also called as the thoracolumbar outflow this is also called as thoracolumbar outflow that is the thoracic spinal nerves and lumbar spinal nerves they come out of the spinal cord they first end in an autonomic ganglia that we call it as preganglionic nerves from this particular autonomic ganglia we have the postganglionic nerves which will go and terminate on the target organs so if you block this particular autonomic ganglia then the effect of the sympathetic nervous system which is coming from the thoracic and as well as lumbar part of the spinal cord can be attenuated or can be decreased in that way we can achieve this particular sympathoplegia next the third group of drugs which will cause this sympathoplegia is those group of drugs which will deplete 
the neurotransmitter store that will deplete the neurotransmitter store because for sympathetic nervous system epinephrine and norepinephrine is very very important if that particular neurotransmitter epinephrine and norepinephrine if it is reduced by usage of the drugs then we can achieve this particular sympathoplegia next the fourth group of drugs by which we can achieve this particular sympathoplegia is by blocking by blocking the adrenergic receptors right by blocking the adrenergic receptors in this way also we can achieve this particular sympathoplegia all right so sympathetic nervous system they it plays an important role in the regulation of the blood pressure of an individual if sympathetic nervous system activity increases the blood pressure of the individual increases so in order to achieve the attenuation of the sympathetic nervous system we can achieve in the following ways number 1 by decreasing the central sympathetic outflow number 2 by blocking the autonomic ganglia number 3 by decreasing the neurotransmitter store and number 4 which will block the drugs which will block the adrenergic receptors now among all those now let me first discuss the drugs which will decrease the central sympathetic outflow